welcome to the really awkward podcast and welcome to our beautiful guest today. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Anthony Bauer, 24 years old, um, currently in Dubai and a professional basketball player for Germany. That's amazing. First of all, congratulations to your career. <laughs> Would you say you found your life purpose with this career that you're doing right now as a basketball player? Um, I think life purpose is something bigger than basketball. Yeah, but I've, I found my passion and I found a passion with what I can make money. And uh, I think that's already very nice. So what do you mean then? What, what is bigger than already your passion and you make money and you can afford a beautiful life and you do what you love? Um, basketball is not going to last, you know, for, forever, especially not for, you know, like uh, basketball ends with 35 later, so 40, you know, so you have to think of also later. And I think basketball is, um, is not, is not my purpose. I feel like purpose is maybe more to be a good human or, you know, bigger things, you know, how you approach life, how, uh, like maybe making a family or like, you know, what kind of human being you want to be and how you want to approach life in general, not just one thing you do for, uh, like a small, small amount of years in your life. That's so interesting because you are 24, right? And when do you think you started to have this kind of mindset? I think when you were maybe starting with basketball, maybe you thought that's your like life purpose or you always knew that's not your life purpose, like there is something more. Um, I always thought it's something more to be uh, than basketball. Actually, I didn't, I didn't have the dream to be a basketball player when I was young. It just more or less happened. Because I grew a lot and uh, I got pretty tall, taller than I expected, actually, because my parents were pretty, are not that, sh that big or, you know, so I thought more I'm going to end up at six foot. I ended up at six foot seven. So then everything fell into place and I had a chance to become a professional. Um, but actually, I started very late with um, ambitious basketball and then it got pretty fast. But I never had the dream really to become a pro basketball player you know it was just like it fell into place it was it, it became a passion and then i enjoyed doing it and i continued doing it but it was never like i said that's my purpose you know what i mean for life i think i think also bigger than basketball you know i think okay what should i do later what sh what can i do besides of basketball you know and i'm interested in a lot of different things you know so just basketball to say that is my purpose that is my you know you, in basketball you say ball is life so i don't know if i would you know say only ba basketball is is my life you know yeah that's that's interesting that's really interesting so when you were younger what you wanted to be or what you dreamed of being or doing actually i wanted to be an actor back an then actor. yeah when i was really young i wanted to be an actor and then um but then you know Becoming an actor is 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 kind of is kind of hard. I feel like, especially when you come from you know not this background, and then uh, you know I just I just stick to playing basketball, you know. But still, I enjoy. Maybe sometimes I have some model jobs, and I enjoy that to do that. I do that as a side hustle at the moment here in Dubai, and um, yeah, I enjoy it sometimes. Yeah, I see you too in front of the camera, maybe as an actor or model. Definitely, I mean you you look great. Like I can't say anything. Thank you. <laughs> You definitely look great and so you say you're interested in different things are there any other things than now basketball modeling and acting <laughs> um, yeah I'm interested in business uh, I'm interested in uh, in people in general you know and um, yeah I'm, I'm interested in a lot of things and basketball is just right now the thing I do the most Because I feel like it gives me this edge or this, um, this uh, it opens me a door into life, you know. So there's a lot of players who start with sports and then end up to be a businessman, for example. But on the start, you need to make, you say, you, you got to open the door for you, you know, especially if you come from a poor background, I, I would say, you know. So then you need to do something. Either way, you go the 
basic way you go studying and then you know try to get a, a chance with that or you you know get to be a professional athlete then you meet certain important people and then you get from there you know so you why do you say you come from a poor background i mean that's very like broad i think so what do you what do you see or what is the the main thing where you say hey i'm, I'm coming from a poor background i don't i don't come from a poor poor background especially not you know it's not comparable with uh with dubai uh or the poor people in dubai let's say but you know in germany i would say it's lower middle class you know um not like house you know nice car dog and stuff it's more like you know the you know not so good area smaller apartment you know you know like parents are struggling here and there with work you know it's more this you know so but not like a, no i'm not rich yet <laughs> not at all no i'm on my, on my way but no not i'm not rich at all yet i wouldn't consider myself rich in a financial way yet but in a life way you feel you feel rich i mean of course i mean you you do what you love you earn good money you can afford to be here like what do you want more i want money more actually <laughs> you know i want to earn more money but the rest i'm completely fine i don't i don't like anything you know i don't i'm not in a place to complain in any in any in any form yeah. so your parents are also from germany my dad is uh, french my mom is german from the eastern uh, from the czechish republic um border like bavarian forest you look so i don't know i would give you maybe some eastern touch <laughs> yeah, like a lot of people um you know uh a lot of people try to guess my 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 hair like my looks or like my you know my ethnicity yeah. but yeah i'm actually half french half uh half german looking more like a spanish guy or something yeah. <laughs> what is it called your business right now i mean your job as a basketball player how do you feel when you go on the basketball court like does this give you energy do you feel like that's like it's just you know you turn you you turn off all your surroundings and you just feel in this flow while you're doing this yeah 100 percent. like i at the moment i start my day at six o'clock playing basketball on the outside court here um with some sudanese uh players and uh yeah it's great like for me that's the perfect start to into the day and um Yeah, it's just how you say, you know, I, I completely forget, forget everything because it's not like, you know, lifting weights or the gym where you have so much space in between sets or something like this. You are focused, you care about your movements and, um, you know, and I love this move. I love the movements. I love the competition. Um, and I also love the socializing, socializing about it, you know, meeting with the guys in the morning, talking a little bit that sets me up for the day, you know me that sounds like my life purpose so right now i'm trying out different things right i met you in the street interviews that's yeah one thing one thing i do and i'm just because i i'm trying to find something that i i would call it my life purpose like something that i just love to do something that gives me energy something that because i truly believe when you do something that gives you energy that makes you happy and that gives you that sets you in this high vibration while doing it and you forget your your time your everything i think when you're doing this money and everything else will will flow will will fall into place automatically and that's why i'm so curious like when you say okay that's not my life purpose i mean yeah that's not everything in life but i think really you're in in such an precious place to to play to do something to have found this thing that you say hey i'm doing it just for the sake of doing it and it just happened that i get money from it it's like it's such a wonderful place to be in that's why i'm i'm like curious like what else do you see as your life purpose um so i agree to a certain point you know like yes i enjoy playing basketball but yeah. To be honest, the road to get there is not always high energy and fun and fun and you know rainbows and sunshine. You know, it's like very hard times also to become a professional athlete. It's not you know how you say 
you know, like just every time I'm super fulfilled in practice. No, sometimes the coach yells at me like crazy, sends me out. I don't play. I travel like whatever, five hours, 10 hours to a game. I sit on the bench. I go back. That's not where I feel very high vibration, you know. But at the end, it's still my passion, you know, when I play on the outside court, you know. But if you do something professionally or something on a serious level, there's going to be times where it's not going to be fun. And um, I think that's with everything in life. Yeah, I think so too. So that's why, I mean, it has already the main part, the, the one part where I say, okay, that's the life purpose. And of course, like you cannot, I think you can never like say, okay, this is my, like, this is my passion or my life purpose. I love to do this. This gives me actually everything what I need. Like, I think when you have found this one thing, you don't need anything else. Everything else, like a partner, family, money is just a, additional thing you know i don't see it as um as there is a need of money yeah you need to survive but it's not it's the ego mind talking to you yeah i need more money i need a family but actually like you have found this one thing and of course like you like you said that's life it, it goes up it goes down like there would be no up without down there would be no down without up so yeah that's why I think it's so amazing that you do this and it's even nicer to hear that you didn't even plan to do that. So you were just playing basketball because you loved it and then you were like, what happened? How how did you get to make money with this or how did you end up being a professional basketball player? It was just by, by accident. <laughs> um, Yeah, you, a little bit how you say with it fell into place. You know, I grew, I was working out a lot, I was training a lot. I was enjoying it, and I did a lot of different sports, you know, but somehow I chose basketball after a while. You know, I was playing soccer, I was playing tennis, and then, you know, the social part about basketball also played a big role why I chose the sport when I was young. And then, you know, I liked to be in the company of my teammates, you know, also that the teammates were different than in tennis. You know, tennis, you have, um, you have different people than in basketball, that's for sure. And then... I just enjoy it. I just, I just, and I just enjoy the company. I enjoy it, you know, going to a away game, and everything about it. So then, actually, yeah, it, it went, it fell into place, and then it went really fast afterwards. So you played tennis as well? Yeah, I played tennis a little bit when I was young. I did judo. I did soccer. I did uh, what else? Badminton or something like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's nice. I mean, I get the the social part also for me right now. I think the main reason why I do that is like to get to know people, to to just go out. I just love to talk to people. I love to to be around people. I I just love that. And so there is for you a difference to play in in a basketball team, for example, than of course tennis. You're one on one, or what else you do? Exactly. Yeah, you are more. You know, you are with you with your dad. He drives you to the tournament. Then you are alone. Pressure on you. Also, it makes it easier if you can't really fail, and you know you are in a team, so it's easier to swallow the to swallow the the the, the L and you know the, the 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 losing part. You know, it's easier if you lose as a team. It's easier than alone because you know you can maybe even you know push it on somebody else. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's definitely um, that's definitely it. That's interesting. So, how do you deal with with losing? in any sports i think it's it's difficult to deal with this situation right actually you you don't change you know it's a system you build up a system of of, of succeeding that means that's your routine and um, you know you wake up in the morning you do your workout you eat right you you go to sleep the same time stuff like this which gonna set you up for for success in life and if you don't if you lose it's part of it and then you just do the same system you don't go home and say oh yeah now it's fucked up and now i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of you know i'm down or i'm gonna eat shit or something like this no no you do the same exact routine you go home you eat correct and, you know maybe you, you go out with your friends more if you but like you stay to the same system losing or winning but you're 24 right it's it's for me it's crazy because I've, i mean i've met a lot of guys and girls and i see always i find always that guys the the mentality or the mindset in, in that case is is not like girls would have it like in a, in an early age 
So I'm curious, where did you learn to have this mindset? It's, and it's not from the sports when you see it already as something you implement anyways in life. Yeah, I, um, I, I read books, self, self, how to say, how to call them, self, development. self development books. You know, I had a mentor in Croatia where I played one year, um, who, who helped me a lot, um, also in men, in mindset, um, in the mindset uh, field. And then also, yeah, it's just also common sense. I think as a, as a, as an athlete, it's, it's quite common sense, you know, because you also need to grow up a little bit faster, even though I didn't really, I felt, you know, like, so, but like, as an athlete, you have responsibility, you know, early to come, to come, to come on time to, 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 to speak professionally, you know, and, um, yeah, I think this pressure also helped me to mature a little bit. Yeah. So when did you start again to do, um, or to be a professional sports guy i would say because you did different things right ambition like i started 17 with ambitious basketball and then like signed my first contract like real contract with 19 and then you know like that's pretty late you know for people who pursue a professional career they start with 12 13 14 they already you know really on a high level i was training once a week in the club when i was 15 16 you know i was i was on the outside court on the on the here on a court like this I'm just playing with 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 some randoms, but I enjoy training, you know. And I I just I just trained like crazy, you know, when I was young, like three times a day, just like out of enjoyment. Okay, but then you got this mindset from from your mentor through sports, right? Yeah, but my mentor came when I was 21. Oh, and yeah. you had before already this mindset. Not everything, but you know. A little bit of this, you know, like it's just a German thing, or so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really German, you know. I'm not like my both par my both of my parents are not really like hundred percent German. I would say, you know, but yeah. it's just yeah. Maybe I have some discipline. I have discipline, and you know that comes maybe from my dad, who 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 maybe you know showed it with me, uh, like uh, you know, led by example with that. You know, he just he has also a lot of discipline. And maybe that's why it felt easy for me, you know, to yeah. to also train a lot. You know, you you know those guys who train two weeks and then and then like oh yeah now I'd quit and then they start something else and then they quit again. So I'm not a quitter. I always I always continued what I what I started more or less. And I'm curious because I just remember you said before your parents are not tall. <laughs> why do you think are you so tall? I mean, you're how tall are you? Two meters. Yeah, I'm two meters, like six, seven, and, and inches. Um, different. Like it's. I, I'm telling you, like I drank a lot of milk. I was a happy kid, which I think is actually the most important thing to grow. And in in, if if you're young and you are not happy and you know you are in a depression or the energy goes in a different way, yeah. it goes into other things. But if you're a happy kid and uh, and you eat right and you do sports and you work out. I, into the <laughs> you can work, yeah, because it's a luxury thing to be tall, yeah, you know, if you... That's true. Oh, thank you. Where do you see yourself in, let's say, three to five years? Um, interesting question. Um, it depends on how it goes, you know, but I have some projects in my mind uh, which um, contain living in Dubai, you know, in winters and, you know, Trying to, trying to, yeah, trying to make those, 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 those projects happen and then uh, live in Dubai in winter, living in Europe in summer, traveling a lot, having good people around myself, enjoying my time while making money, while, pers while continuing in my career and uh, setting myself up pretty, uh, you know, in a good way so I can, you know, enjoy life with people I like. So now you're not really saying where you want to go. Is that because you believe in the devil's eye? Not at all, but it's not, it's not, it's not sure yet. What, uh, so it's a project. Maybe next time if we meet, we can, <laughs> we can talk about it. But at the moment it's, um, is not, is not, is not official. So, but yeah, I have things in my mind, which, uh, would, would take place in Dubai and, uh, possible that it's gonna be soon. That's nice. So you want to. In future, like in three to five years, you want to quit completely basketball? No, no, basketball is part of the part oh, of the okay. thing. It's part, of course. <laughs> and when do you want to have a family? Thirty-three. 
Oh, you have it planned like 33, wait a second. Oh, you Man have almost, yeah, you have still a long time actually. Yeah. Nine, Nine years. years. Do you believe in, in, I mean, let's say it broad zodiac signs, but. No. No. I mean, I mean, yeah, you told me because your yeah. first date no. was. <laughs> no, no, no. But actually I did like this numerology uh, thing on the phone last time and it was actually pretty, pretty, pretty correct, you know, so I don't know. There's weird things in this life, you know, but, uh, but yeah, the zodiac signs, no, but actually numerology is, can be interesting. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think once you, once you like go more into these topics, I think you, you will like it because it's actually not about zodiac signs. It's more about, I will show you one of my friends He's from Austria and he's like, he was also before he was professional football player and then he. He came into these topics and now he's explaining what is exactly behind that. So it's not about zodiac sign. It's every, let's say every zodiac sign is actually just an energy. Like Leo has another energy than Scorpio. Scorpio has another energy than Sagittarius, whatever. And we as a human, we can implement all these energies. So it's actually, it's more like um understanding of life and understanding of um, how to deal with every situation in life it's because not everyone has like this mindset like you and with people who who are for example suffering about with themselves or for themselves or from themselves even it can be so helpful to know hey actually like i want to build a business actually i just have to go more into my leo energy i have to be more outgoing i have to be more like more disciplined more whatever you know so yeah, through my friend from Austria, like through him, I, I understood there is way more behind it. And it was so interesting. But I understand, like, <laughs> tell me more about your date last time. <laughs> I understand you don't like this topic at all. Uh, it's okay. You know, I'm open to everything. I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not. But like, sometimes I, I th I'm i thinking of, yeah, it's, it's maybe it's bullshit. Yeah, but like... <laughs> I'm I'm open to everything. I don't judge. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's let's say it like this. There are there are some parts that the part that is in the newspaper. I think you can forget about this, but there is way more behind that. I have also a couple of questions. Just one or two. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm open for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So well, you know, like you asked me about purpose, so I wanted to ask you back. You know, what is your purpose, and uh, how did you find? You know, well, how did you got to be an influencer? How did you, um, yeah, find your way? And uh, how did you decide to do what you do? You know, with uh, I, I, I saw on your profile you do a little bit of OnlyFans. You do a little bit of this and that. You know, like how did you choose to do this? Or like also be, you know, transparent with what you do? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a long, like, I think I can tell you not hours of my story, but I'm, like, as a child, I think I was very insecure with myself. I didn't really know, like, I w I'm also not coming from a rich family. I was just with my mom, and um, it was difficult for me to really understand who I am, what I want, even as a child already, so I always felt wrong in place, and... But I always knew growing up, I always, like, I was working here and there and I had responsibilities when I was very young already. And I knew, like, when I'm older, I don't want to work, to be honest. Like, I just don't want to. So I don't really want to, like, work hard. Like, I just knew that from the beginning. But I also want to have a nice life. So I I didn't really know how that works for me. And I was living in Spain sometimes when for three years when I was very anorexic and I didn't really have this fire for life at that moment and I just um, for some reason I just started to make pictures of myself and post them on Instagram and it just made me realize how sick I actually look so that was the first step into me starting with Instagram and people were just super interested in in my journey of gaining weight and and doing sports and and whatever I do with my life, and then it just actually it just happened. Like I just gained followers, and then I was going back to Austria. I, I continued doing my stuff, share just sharing my life and being super honest. Actually, I was never like 
I didn't really care. Like I didn't care how I talk into the camera. I did the most stupid and said the most stupid stuff because I just didn't care. I just was like, I, I think I liked the attention from other people. And then I decided to move to Dubai in COVID. And when I came here, I started to do personal trainings and I started to make a lot of money. And then I realized, hey, there is actually, there are so many girls making a lot of money with OnlyFans. And I did that anyways on Instagram. I like to show my body because that's what helped me to gain weight from anorexia to where I am now and to like my body. And then I said, okay, when I'm doing it anyways, like why not getting money for it? And that's when I, I started doing OnlyFans and yeah, I made some money, but then I realized, hey, but wait a second, it's nice to to not have anything to do all day. It's nice for some time. It's like a holiday from life. But I realized I, I want more, you know, I want to, I still don't know who I am. I still, I still don't know what, what's my purpose, what's my passion. Like, I want to find something that I wake up every morning and I say, it's another day like I can't wait to to wake up I can't wait to to do something for me or for other people something that fulfills me from inside that's why I think it's it's so amazing what you do and that's what I'm doing right now like I I want to to actually I want to with time stop only fans now it's paying my bills I'm grateful for that thanks God but I so it's your main income source yeah right now and takes care of everything uh, what you do Yes, yes. I actually don't know if I should say that on the podcast because I said I'm living living in Dubai. But yeah, at the moment that's I mean to be honest, I still do some collaborations on on Instagram and I still do some personal trainings, but now and then I'm not focused on that, but this other part is paying my bills at the moment and I'm just like trying to find something else that completely fulfills me and I know then money will follow anyways, like and then I can stop this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to hear that you find your way and also interrupt you yeah. to, to, to get where you are now, you know, yeah. because, you know, in social media, there's a lot of fake yeah. uh, everything. Everybody works on, her, on, their, on their picture, you know, like you can never really trust on a picture anymore, you know, but, you know, I saw you are really transparent with what yeah. you do with your body and, and this and that. And uh, interesting for maybe also other people yeah. that, uh, this this uh, authentic uh, kind of um, Instagram account yeah. is, can can help you also. Yeah, it can definitely help. And to be honest, like I tried to to go, or I was just going. Like my life was flowing into the way of editing a lot and and focusing a lot on how I look, like like editing here, editing there, making my waist smaller, and these things. And to be honest, this brought me in a deeper hole than than anything else in my life it just because you're not tr true to yourself and it makes you it makes such a big gap between yourself and and what you show to others so yeah I think it was good to experience that but now I'm just like I just want to remove all these layers of showing things that they are maybe not and yeah any other question oh that's that's it for now Okay. I was just interested, you know, yeah. how, you would, how you would answer. <laughs> no, it's very nice. It's very nice. And thank you so much for coming. Welcome. And yeah, thank you for listening to the podcast. I hope you will look, for the, look forward for the next one and give me a like or a comment or whatever if you like it. And if not, not. <laughs> and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.